Chicken is a very popular type of meat. People across the world see chicken as a healthy and tasty choice. In fact, demand for chicken is growing faster than any other meat. Here in the UK, around half of all the meat we eat is chicken. We eat around 2.5 million chickens a day, so our farmers need to keep up with demand. Some customers choose free-range chicken. The chickens spend half their lives outdoors, but most customers choose chicken that has been indoor reared. So just how does a supermarket like Morrison's meet their customers' demand for good quality, high welfare, affordable chicken? And how are farmers and new technologies on indoor reared chicken farms helping them reduce the impact on environment? We're about to find out. Let's start at the very beginning. Eggs, and lots of them. Here on the breeding farm, chickens are busy laying up to one egg a day. The breed we use are Ostrio 8s. They've been bred for meat. Uh, they're not egg layers, so they're purposely bred for the meat for the factories. They're on the farm for a maximum of three days. Then they go off to the hatchery and they start the incubation process. The hatchery does the same job as a mother hen would by sitting on her egg until it hatches, but it does so on a massive scale. This hatchery receives a weekly delivery of over two million eggs each week from local farms. Staff work around the clock. Let's find out how from someone who has worked here for over 20 years. Well, the first thing in the process is the eggs arrive into, into the egg loading bay. And uh, the first job we have to do is disinfect the eggs. This has the effect of killing all the bugs, all the bacteria on the outside of the shells, outside of the trays, outside of the trolleys. Vast amounts of technology on the site, from storage room technology, storage room managing the environments of our rooms, our incubation rooms, to more delicate technology involved in the incubation process itself. Currently we have incubators now sized at about 115,000 eggs per incubator. An incubator is designed to mimic the exact conditions that it would find itself with the hen sat on the eggs. So it controls the temperature, humidity, ventilation. Biosecurity to us is very important and having a healthy egg go into an incubation process is key to having a healthy chick. A lot of heat is generated by the large number of chicks as they develop inside the incubated eggs. This heat can be captured and fed back into the heating system in the winter months when it is needed to keep the temperature just right. The idea of the incubator, we do not want them to hatch in the incubator. And the idea is that 18 days we remove them from that incubator and take them from their tray and place them into a hatcher basket. So where they spend the final three days then of their hatching cycle hatching in a hatcher rather than a tray. After the chicks are counted, they are vaccinated to help keep them healthy on the farm. Then they are quickly moved to a local farm for rearing. We followed the chicks to this farm to meet farmers Rachel and Matt so we can find out what happens next. As you can see, hygiene is as important on the farm as it is in the hatchery. And the welfare of the birds is a priority. It's very important that we look after chicks and chickens um, because like any other farm animal, they have needs. Chickens come in at day old. We need to make sure they have the right food and that they have the right temperatures so that they're healthy and happy. We can control and create the chicken's environment and we do this using brand new technology and it's state of the art and perfect for growing chickens. Morrisons will only take chickens from farms that have windows in the sheds which provide natural light for the birds. They also must have pecking objects and perches so that they can display natural behaviour and it keeps them alert and active as well. We need energy to create the right conditions in the chicken shed. If that energy is created from fossil fuels, it would add to climate change. But indoor reared farms like this one are finding more sustainable solutions. 
We've built a 500 kilowatt anaerobic digesting plant, which um, basically will generate electric to heat the four poultry sheds and generate electric to run the poultry site, the dairy site, and have some left over to sell to the national grid. The process is we take the poultry manure, the manure from the cattle, it all goes into this digester. That will then generate methane gas. We will burn that gas through an engine, which will drive a turbine and generate the electric on the farm. Other green energy sources, such as solar panels and biomass boilers, are being used more and more. Biomass boilers burn wood chips to provide heat. So chicken farming can be much kinder on the environment than other types of meat production. Chicken is becoming more and more popular in many countries. Supermarkets need to find ways of meeting that demand more sustainably while offering quality, value and choice to their customers. We can enjoy chicken as a part of a healthy diet and reduce how our choices affect the environment. Both welfare of chicken and the environmental impact of farming methods need to be considered as the world learns to cope with high demand for chicken. Today, we've seen some of the ways Morrison farmers in the UK are rearing chickens in safe and more sustainable ways. There's a lot of food for thought.